Look at that guy. He's got a whole set up here. Pick up the truck. Look at that. Great spot to be, great parking spot. Corvette's are way down the other end, jammed in a corner. Oh, look at that big tent and everything, very nice. Well organized, looks good. Corvette Racing C8R on display. Very nice, let's take a look. Let's take a look. It's pretty good. Kind of a little, oh, look. it's a running board. Does that look like a running board to you? It looks like a running board to me. <laughs> Lightweight windows, very, very light. <laughs> Everything for weight reduction. Amazing. And the big wing, a wing, a wing, a wing, a wing. Look at that thing, huh? Yeah. Super loud. Nice cutaway display of the C8. I believe it's a C8 Corvette, and it doesn't look like a Z06 to me, but very, very interesting. Absolutely. Where else could you do this? Uh, you know, here at IMSA Racing, you get to meet meet the fans. These people are so passionate about coming out here, and you know, we've been um, Here's the, uh, up for the last Max couple side. of years here. So it's good to Take see. But it's great side. to be with TGM, my brother Matt Plum, and um, we hope to go to the front and, uh, and stay there. Now here's the front side. I'm 
not sure if this is a Z06 or it's a C8, regular C8. Uh, look at the hits, you see radius, radiators look. Look at all the bangs down here. Oh boy. The roof had a cover on it before, I think they've taken it off. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is the Z06. I thought, I wasn't sure, but this is the Z06 cutaway. Take a look at this. Oh yeah. Look at this. Great on the engine in there. Nice piece. Let me put my hand down there so you can get an idea of the size. All right. Very impressive. More cooling over here. Interesting looking exhaust system. And of course the cutter, they cut off the wing on here. Wow, what the hell? They use on that, it's a new design on the exhaust tip to get more exhaust noise into the engine compartment, uh, into the driving compartment so the driver can hear the, the exhaust. <laughs> and I think that's the... Uh, that's the Forbes for it? I believe so. The same on the other side? No, it's different. I'm sorry, it's different. They've changed the lip here somewhere. Um, so they get more noise going that way. That's one of the tricks. But this is a great cutaway. Yeah. Put better wheels on it though. <laughs> look at these things. They've been used a little bit. Though. Yeah, look, look at the size. Vehicle. Different. Really. Pretty much the same. I would say seats look the same. Um, these carbon fiber wheels? I can't tell. Yes, they are. Those are carbon fiber rims. They're what, about 4,000 a piece, 5,000 a piece for these rims? That's each, not for four, that's each. Big money. Big money. Oh, look at the design on the, uh, yeah, the arms down there. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Let's see, can you adjust the shocks from here? I don't know. I think you can. I think you can. Although I don't know if this has uh, the lift front lift system in it or not. I can't tell. a video i hope you liked it uh we put a lot of time into it we spent the whole day down at daytona and uh what do you think of the new write a comment down below what do you think of the new z06 were you impressed were you not impressed do you like it do you not like it i don't know um i'm excited about it and some of you probably know i have a deposit down on one i'm number two at my local dealer on the list so but you know there's a there's a strike looming at the uh, factory and uh they've got um they've got a, a 
the possibility of a strike again this year. <laughs> and they're also talking about, um, you know, there's a lot of things going along in the world that are not too exciting, if best way to put it, uh, without getting political. <laughs> But uh, hopefully things will change up, and uh, hey, maybe uh, in a few months we'll be doing a Z06, C8 Z06 video. Who knows? But we'll have a few more coming, and we have another um, uh, meet and greet coming up in March. So uh, we'll let all you folks know about that. If you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, you can help us out a lot here with the channel by subscribing and liking the video or leaving a comment too. Uh, tell me what you think about the new Z06. Tell me what you think about um, anything. Uh, Daytona, oh hey, how about this? What do you, tell me what you think about the balance of performance. They call it the BOP. And that's where they try to balance out all the cars so that they all, basically what they're trying to do is Let's say the Corvette class the Corvettes in. What they're trying to do is not everything goes exactly as planned. There's no um, variables added into anything. Uh, that all the cars across the finish line at about it's almost exactly the same time. That's what the balance of performance is. They're balancing the performance on all the cars so that they all perform approximately the same way. It's never going to happen. And then I saw some Yahoo on uh, YouTube last night saying, oh, the, the Corvettes are cheating. They're sandbagging. Something, yeah, they're sandbagging. Uh, he doesn't know that. How can he? He can't prove it. I said, what do you do? You all, oh, well, yeah, they can look at all these uh, uh, data and they can tell if the guy has a throttle. Uh, at 100% or not when they're going into the high-speed areas and stuff like that. No, 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 no. The guy's not too smart. The guy with the laptop, you see, see the guy with the laptop programming the yellow computer? That's the guy that can pull back that car by 5 or 10%, and it'll run like crap, and then they might get you know, the uh, IMSA will look at him and say, oh boy, that car's running lousy. We, we give him a get a little, little, give him a little uh, help. We'll take off a little weight or we'll add a little this or a little that. They got all these cars, you know, they got them fixed. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is though. If you know the answer to fix all his balance of performance baloney, uh, please put that down below because I don't have any answer for that. It's crazy. It's uh it takes the fun out of going, I mean, I don't know, maybe just pull a bunch of cars off the showroom floor and race those on street tires. There you go. <laughs> All right, thanks again for, I, I don't mean to get long-winded here. Thanks again. Uh, appreciate your uh, stopping by, and uh, we'll see you again soon, and I uh, hope you're having a great week.